Hey guys, what's going on? It's NMW Sky High here today recording a video for you guys. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how to download maps for Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. And I know I have already made a tutorial about this, but a lot of you guys have been having problems or asking questions, so I'm just going to go through the details and the steps one more time and then answer all your questions once I'm on the computer because that's mostly where you'll have the problems. I'll be showing you guys how to download Horizon and install everything in all of those steps. So again, like the last video, the steps are to go to your settings. Go ahead and click on system. Then click on storage. Then click on hard drive. Profiles. Find your profile, it can be any profile. I've already moved my profile onto my hard drive, which will be card called your memory unit. As you can see here, here it is. And then once you have done that, you can go ahead and take out your USB. It's going to say something along the lines of please reinsert your USB, but you can go ahead and ignore that. So go ahead and plug your USB into your computer, and I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so now we're on the computer. As you can see by this website, it's called www.horizonmb.com. Go here, the link will be in the description below. Up here in the top right hand corner, there's going to be something that says download Horizon. You wanna click that. A little thing down here will pop up. You're just gonna wait for that to load. Waiting, waiting. Okay, so now it's done loading, you're just gonna click that and you want to drag it onto your desktop. And then on your desktop, you want to go ahead and run as administrator. Or double click, it doesn't really make a difference. You're just going to be installing it. All right, go ahead and click yes. And now it's gonna say downloading installation details. You're just gonna to wanna to wait for that to load. So I'm gonna wait for this to load and then I'll cut forward in the video. Okay, now it is done loading, and it's going to pop up with this. Horizon is the ultimate Xbox 360 mod tool. You want to go ahead and click Accept. Now, all of these are different things that you'd be downloading as well if you click Accept. So, after you click Accept the first time, do not click Accept. I repeat, do not. These are add-ons, and they can just make your computer run really slow or install uh, viruses or something. So... All of these products that say click accept now to continue, just click decline. And then if it says express install, go ahead and go to custom install just to be safe. Uncheck all of these and then click decline. Decline. All right, and now it is installing Horizon. Okay, so as you can see, it is just finished downloading my software. So now it'll pop up this setup. Horizon, you're just going to want to click next, 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 create desktop icon, next, and install. Alright, and you're just going to want to go ahead and click finish and launch Horizon. This should close out right here. There you go. And while that's launching, I'm going to show you guys how to download maps, because a lot of you guys have been asking me questions on how to download maps. It's actually just really, really simple. You just want to go, like, to YouTube or Google, and then just, like, type in Minecraft Adventure Map Download Xbox 360, or Xbox 360 Minecraft Maps for download, or something like that. A uh, popular person that features a bunch of maps to download is Qdangler. A uh, link to his channel will be in the description below if you guys want to look at a bunch of maps. I do know that he uploads a ton of maps and they're very popular and they're all really good. I watch him a lot and download a bunch of maps, but the map I want is the Sunken Island Adventure Map, which is a PC adventure map that came out a long time ago, but thanks to Oprezel's modding tool, they will, they were able to convert it to the Xbox version, so I'm just going to download it here. In the description will usually be something that says map download link, and it'll take you to this media fire page, or uh, ad fly page, 
but if it's an ad fly page then it'll show an ad down here and a blue bar it'll say ad fly over here and then it'll show a countdown over here when it's done counting down just go ahead and click skip ad and then it should take you to media fire download link I'm gonna go ahead and download this map go ahead and X out of that pop-up and then once it's done downloading you can just click it drag it to your desktop All right, and then once you've done that, you're going to want to open Horizon. This is kind of new, not re not really much of a difference. Uh, sometimes it's opened like this. There's a little arrow right here. You can click that to open it. And I believe you can't just drag the map onto your profile anymore because it just won't work. But I think you can. No, you can't. Let's see if we click on this, then can we no? Alright, so you're going to want to click inject new file. Go to your desktop and find the map. Here it is. You're going to want to go ahead and click open. And again, this is the same steps. It's going to say profile. It's going to use my name. going to click use this profile. And then down here it will load. And then a little box up here will pop up saying see it's done. Alright, so go ahead and click OK, and then you're pretty much done. Now, some of you guys have been asking me questions like it has an invalid STF package or something. I honestly do not know what STF package means because I, I just don't know. But a lot of the maps are really, really old, so you can't download them and play them on your Xbox because Minecraft is now currently in Title Update 14, and some maps are like from what title update 4 or something and then you download them and then it just goes klapui and doesn't work it'll probably freeze your xbox or not load or something it happens to me every time that i try to use an older map so you always want to try and get the newer maps that usually works if it's an invalid stf package then probably just try a different map or see if you can find the same map somewhere else for download well, that's pretty much it for the computer, so I will see you guys back on the Xbox. Okay, we are back on the Xbox again, and the steps are still the same. You just want to go ahead and go all the way over to your settings, click on system, go down to storage, go ahead and go to your memory unit, go to profiles, click on your profile, click move, click yes, go to your hard drive, let it load. It should sign you back in in a second. And then you just want to go ahead and go to games and apps. Here's Minecraft. And then I have a bunch of maps here. But the map that I want is this one. Go ahead and click on that. And you want to click move. And then you just want to click your hard drive. And then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a like. Well, I really appreciate all the support. I've just reached about, what, almost 14,000 views on my old video. I will put a link to this video on that old video. And this is a newer version for 2014 to 2015, title update 14 for Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, smack that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is NMW Sky High. Peace.